In this video, we are adding a label to a contour. The label provides information about measurements and about the contour itself. Add a local image in a View 2D module to your workspace and connect them as seen in the video. Load the file probe and T1 from Mevis Lab demo data. In order to create contours, we need a so View 2D CSO extensible editor module. It manages attached CSO editors, renderers and offers an optional default renderer for all types of CSOs. Add ASO CSO Distance Line Editor to the SoView 2D CSO Extensible Editor. It renders and interactively generates CSOs that consist of a single line segment. In order to have the same look and feel for all types of CSOs, add ASO CSO Visualization Settings Module. Also add a CSO Manager Module to organize CSOs and CSO groups within a network. We are now able to create lines in the View 2D. You can also modify the lines by dragging the seed points to a different location. The lines do neither provide any details about the length of your measurement, nor a unique ID to identify it in case of multiple CSOs. Add a CSO Label Renderer module to your network and connect it to ASO Group. Also connect your SO CSO Distance Line Editor to the SO Group as seen in the video. The ID of each CSO appears next to your distance lines. Moving the ID also shows the name of the contour. Open the panel of the CSO label renderer. You can see the two parameters label string and label name. The label string is set to the ID of the CSO. The label name is set to a static text and the label property of the CSO. The label can be defined in the module CSO manager. Change the Python code as seen in the video. We are setting the label name to a static text showing the type of the CSO and the unique ID of the contour. We also define the label string to the static description of the measurement and the length parameter of the CSO. The length is rounded to two decimal places. In order to see all possible parameters of a CSO, add a CSO info module to your network and connect it to the CSO manager. The geometric information of the selected CSO from CSO manager can be seen there. For labels shown on grayscale images, it makes sense to add a shadow. Open the panel of the SO CSO Visualization Settings module and on tab miscellaneous check the option should render shadow. This increases the readability of your labels. If you want to define your static text as a parameter in multiple labels, you can open the panel of the CSO Label Renderer module and define text as user data. The values can then be used in Python via user data. You can also add multiple CSO editors to see the different options. Add the SO CSO Rectangle Editor module to your workspace and connect it to the SO Group module. As we now have two different editors, we need to tell the CSO Label Renderer which CSO is to be rendered. Open the panel of the SO CSO Distance Line Editor. You can see the field extension ID set to Distance Line. Open the panel of the SO CSO Rectangle Editor. You can see the field extension ID set to rectangle. We currently define the label name and label string for the distance line. If we want to define different labels for different types of CSOs, we have to change the CSO label renderer Python script. If you now draw new CSOs, you will notice that you still always create distance lines. Open the panel of the SoView 2D CSO extensible editor. You can see that the creator extension ID is set to default. The first found eligible editor is used to create a new CSO. In our case this is the SO CSO Distance Line Editor. Change creator extension ID to rectangle. Newly created CSOs are now rectangles. The label values are shown as defined in the CSO label renderer and show the length and the area of the rectangle. You will find a lot more information in the CSO Info module for your rectangles. For further information, please have a look at www.mevislab.de.